you guys out there. It's Angie again with my fairy treasures. Let me just make sure I'm getting myself going here so everybody can see. Yep, there you can see me. Okay, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a um, journal and it's going to look like forged metal. Okay, I wanted to show you. I did a tutorial on this to show exactly my whole journal, but the thing I want to show you mainly about my journal is, see how this looks like forged metal? And it's done with foil. Is this fabulous or what? So I'm going to show you this technique technique today. See, that's again. So it just looks like forged metal. I just love it. And I have a tutorial on my whole journal that I created. So, okay, we're going to get started. And this is probably going to be part one and part two. I can see already because it takes a little time, but not really that much. It's very simple. Okay. Excuse my daughter in the background, she's screaming for some reason. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we need texture. So we're going to take some corrugated cardboard, and you guys can use whatever you want to give texture. That's all you're trying to do first, is create texture, because the foil is going to be going over this. Okay, so there's your hot glue. You can put this right here. Nothing has to be exact, in fact, the more not exact you are, the better. This piece can go here. Get that piece off of there so then we'll take some more hot glue and hot glue is what you definitely want for this because you want instant adhesion so definitely I don't think there's any other thing I would use besides hot glue for this okay and put that right there let's take one more piece hot glue and adhere this one okay and there we go Okay, so those are all adhered. Then you want to take some stuff like, um, you could take um, any type of uh, twine or whatever, but I had some lace left over for another project, so I'm going to need some lace. Like I said, what we're building right now is just texture. So I'm just going to take my glue gun and put like a little snake here and just follow the glue and try not to burn myself. Usually I have a little glass of water sitting here so I can have a wet finger while I'm doing this, which is a lot smarter. But that's okay. In fact, you know, I'm going to grab that. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. I'm just going to want to grab my little thing of water. Because it is a lot smarter than burning myself. Okay, keep going. See what I'm doing like here? And you're going to apply this. And I'm just making like a little snake. And this is just, like I said, to give texture. Okay? And then we can cut this off. Just like that. Okay. So that can give some nice texture. Um, now I have some pennies, as crazy as this sounds. You can use coins, dimes, whatever. But I'm going to use pennies, and you're just going to apply those on. I just got some, of course, glue webbing going on. Okay. And then just going to keep applying pennies. And this, all I said, is for more texture. And these pennies are going to show through like little, well, little circles will come through too. Okay, keep going here. I got webs going everywhere, but it's fine. It'll be part of the texture. Okay, that's why I love Shabby Chic. There's no wrong or right answer. Just whatever you want. Okay, so now we got this part done. Make sure everything's down with the hot glue. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let me show you what that looks like. It does not look like a like a, just a mess. Okay, but this mess is going to turn to something pretty fabulous. Okay, now we're going to do the back. Same thing. You're going to take some cardboard. The corrugated. And you know what? There's always, you don't have to look for corrugated cardboard. You can take any cardboard box and pull off the uh, top of the, um, oh, I got to fill my glue stick real quick. And fill and uh, rip off the top of the box. And this is what's under, always on anything is the corrugated cardboard. So you don't have to worry about trying to find it. Just find a cardboard box and start ripping the top sh layer off the box. And uh, let me get the glue off my fingers. And then um, the corrugated cardboard, you can, you'll expose it. And like it'll be a cool piece like this. See how it's kind of ripped? Like some of the paper, the top layer was left on there. I just left it. It was cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this one done. Make sure I'm in frame. You guys can see me what I'm doing. Okay, got enough hot glue on there. 
work fast is because you know your hot glue gets gets going pretty quick. Okay. I might have went over a little too far right there. Did I? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Let's get another piece of corrugated cardboard and we'll go right there. You guys see that? That piece goes there? Okay, yeah, you saw it. Okay, let's get some hot glue on here. Okay. And we'll put that piece right there. Let me just show you where I'm at so far. You can see me doing this. That's where I'm at, okay? Looks like a big old jumble mess. I love it. Okay, again, we're gonna take, this is some other little piece of, piece of lace, part of, part of a piece of lace, looks like a little string. Again, I'm gonna make a little snake. Let's make a little snake there of hot glue so that we can follow it. Dip your finger in some water. And this way, if your finger's wet, it won't, you won't get burned. I learned that when I was making flowers. It's a really good technique, especially if you're making flowers with lace. And uh, lace, there's nothing to it. You can burn your finger so bad. And uh, if you have a wet finger, it prevents you from um, burning your finger. So that's a really nice clue. Or clue. I mean, nice tip. Okay. Let's just put a little more hot glue right there. Okay. And cut the excess off there. Okay, let me make sure that's it. That's it here, Don. Okay, great. Now let's go back through with. I've got a couple dimes. We'll use them. Let's use some dimes and glue those on. I hate to waste dimes. Dimes are really worth something. I'd rather use pennies. But I had a couple sitting here, so we'll go with it. Okay, keep going on these pennies. I gotta watch my time because I can't videotape on my iPod on my iPad for longer than 15 minutes at a time. So at about 14 minutes, um, we'll turn it. I'll turn it off and I'll start on part two. Okay, and I think that's about it right here. And I'm gonna show you what I ended up with. Put that one like that. Okay. Don't you guys just love hot glue webbing all over your finger? Not really. Okay. I got webs everywhere. Okay, so now you, here you go. There's your nice big mess. See? All over your journal. Okay, next step is this. Next step to the whole thing is we're going to do it to the back first. Um, oh, next step, I forgot. What we need to do is we need to take our foil. Okay, this is the foil that kind of measured it out. You want to crinkle your foil. This is going to be your, how your fourth metal is going to look. Okay? So you want to crinkle it, but just a little bit, and then bring it back. If you crinkle it too much, you'll never be able to get it back out. So just crinkle, and then bring it back out. Crinkle, and bring it right back out. And crinkle, and bring it right back out. Do not roll it in a ball. You will never get it out of the ball. Also, um, invest in some um, quality foil. I, I had some cheap thin foil that I'm using, and it rips easily. I would prefer if I would have had some thicker foil. But anyway, it still works, even if you have the cheap foil. But if you can, buy some of the other. Okay, so now we did that, and kind of smooth it out, just so it lays flat. Okay, we're gonna do the back first, okay? And what we need to do to the back, there's the back, is we need to take and put on some Elmer's glue. Elmer's, or I use Craze Art, and you want to get glue over this whole thing. Should have started with a new bottle, but it's fine. Makes me work harder. Okay. You guys can, oh good, you can see me really well. Thank God. Okay. Take your brush, and you want to get into these grooves and all over everything. Everything needs to be covered with the glue. Because that is how we're going to stick, of course, the foil onto this journal. Okay? So just make sure we really got this glue. I might just, yeah, I'm just going to go like this. Get a big, huge hunk of glue. Because you use a lot. Anyway, that'll probably be enough for the whole project, hopefully. Stand up. Okay. 
So let's get it all over everywhere. Oh, and there's another thing I want to do. I have a piece of wax paper here because you don't want your, you don't want the glue to get on your pages, which already almost started happening. Okay, so take your wax paper and put it in between your, um, the pages and this, uh, just go to your last page in the back of your journal. So now let's see this is a piece of wax paper. That's going to protect everything from getting all glued up. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, and you want to really get into the grooves of this um, corrugated cardboard. Get all over the pennies and all of the book itself and all over the little strings of lace that I have. Okay. Really bring that all across. How much time are we at? Okay, we're okay. At least I'm going to get finished with this glue part. Okay. Let's do a little bit more glue. Okay. Ooh, I just touched all that glue. All right, let's get a little bit more glue going. Okay, now that I got all this glue on here, this is where we're going to go ahead. And you know what? We need to get some glue also on this part here on the seam. So let me get a little bit more glue and get this on the seam too. So we can get that going. You could also put like some twine right here on the seam too, but I didn't, which is fine. Okay put that away for right now okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and stop the video before I run out of time and we're gonna go on to part two and I'll show you how this goes okay so I'll see you guys in just a minute <laughs> 